Hello, welcome to a Vox Commando tutorial. Today I'll be talking about how to interface Vox Commando with Skype. You can control Skype, you can place calls, you can scrape your address book to be able to do uh, voice dialing. You can receive events from Skype when people are trying to reach you and generate text-to-speech telling you who's calling and uh, probably do a lot of other things if you use your imagination. So to get started, we need to enable the plugin by going into Options, going to the Plugins tab, and selecting Skype. Clicking Save and Close, and then restarting Vox Commando. Full restart. That's how you enable any plugin in Vox Commando. In a previous version, I had my Skype settings saying that I want to auto-connect. So as soon as I restart Vox Commando, it tries to connect to Skype. And the, pretty much the most important part of this is to click Allow Access on Skype. If you deny access, then you'll have to go through special settings and reboot your computer and whatnot in order to allow access. So I, I will allow access, but I'll show you how to access those settings in case you're having trouble connecting to Skype and it's not giving you the message asking for you to allow access. You can go into Tools, Options, Advanced. And then hiding down here we have this link Manage Other Programs Access to Skype. What you may need to do here, although it technically lets you change to allow or not allow, I found that it doesn't always work and what I need to do is actually remove the program and then reboot my computer. Then when I try to connect it does pop up the message asking if I want to allow access and everything works. So hopefully you won't have to go through that. But I thought I should mention it since it's the most likely thing to trip people up. So now I'm connected. As soon as we do connect we get this event skype.attached. So you can see in my plugin settings, these are not the default settings, these are settings that I have adjusted. Um, but you can choose where you want to save your payload XML file, which is what we would use to do voice dialing. When you click Gen XML, it scans your Skype contact list and generates a payload XML file that will be saved in this location. And the other option that relates to this is use subset matching. If you're at all familiar with Vox Commando, you'll know what this is. Subset matching means that you can say a part of the phrase for a payload XML. So if you have a contact name who is John Smith, it would allow you to say, call John. The reason we don't want to use subset matching is that you may have multiple Johns in your list and we don't want it randomly dialing the first one that it finds. So I recommend you keep this off. Auto connect to Skype is the other option, which if you always have Skype running, then it's probably a good idea to use auto connect to Skype. It means that as soon as Vox Commando starts up, it'll attempt to connect to Skype. If Skype is not running when Vox Commando tries to connect, it'll launch Skype. So if that's something that annoys you, if you don't want Skype to start up every time Vox Commando starts up, then you'll want to make sure this is unselected. So I can click Gen XML here and it tells me that the contacts were saved to this payload XML file here. I'm gonna click Save Options. And the first thing I'll demonstrate is that now that we're attached to Skype, we will receive all sorts of events. So I'll ask my assistant to send us a text message. So this is the event that's generated, skype.chat CMS received. And if I roll over the event in the history window, I can see all of the payloads, starting with payload one at the top. So payload one is the contact ID. The second one is the friendly name. And the fourth one is the actual text message. So I can actually create te a text-to-speech command from this. I'll show you how to do that. I have just an empty tree here with an empty Skype group ready to accept new commands. And I'll call this uh, announce chat via TTS. And I will drag this event over to this command. 
so that whenever I receive a text message via Skype, it will trigger this command, and we'll then have access to those four payloads within this command. And I'll just create here tts.speak. So payload two was the friendly name of our contact. And payload four was the actual text message. So I'll go back to this to show you how I figured that out. The second in the list here is James and Naomi. That's payload two. And the fourth in the list is hi there. That's the message. So if she were to send the same text message again, it'll say James and Naomi says hi there. And I can add OSD show text to show the same message in case our sound is off. Two says four. Now I'll save my tree and we'll wait for a text message James to arrive. James and Naomi says, hi James, please call me. Ooh, she's quick on the draw. So, as you can see here, we got the chat event, and it correctly used the payloads. So that gives you an idea of what we could do with events. Now, probably the most likely thing that you'll want to do if you're using Skype is to be able to voice dial people. So I'll show you how to create a command to do that. I'll say, uh, call this call contact. This is just the name of the command, but by putting this payload one in the name of the command, when my on-screen display shows recognized commands, it will format it this way and insert payload one in there for me. So this is your choice, how you want to name your command. So now I'll use the payload XML that we generated from the plugin settings page. And it's a, a value phrase payload XML because we're saying the friendly name of the contact, but we want to get the value column, which is the actual Skype ID. We'll double click this and browse to the payload file. Payload Skype XML. And we can go have a quick look in there at our contacts. So you can see in order to call this Skype ID, I will be saying call contact James and Naomi. I need to create the actual action. I often forget to do this. Uh, I've, I've defined how the command will be triggered and what payload will be passed to the command, but I still need to define my actions. So it's very simple. We want to Skype call contact, and in this case we want to use payload one. Saving and closing, and now I'm ready to place the call. Call contact James and Naomi. Now you may decide to do other things there depending on your needs. Probably after you've placed a call, you'll want to either go into stand mode, standby mode or off mode. This is entirely up to you, whatever makes sense for you. Now our contact may call us rather than sending us a, t a text message, they may try to connect to us. So this is the, the window that pops up from Skype, but we can see we have this event being generated which tells us that someone is calling. This is the skype.cls ringing. So I can create a command that tells us someone's calling and then we can create another command to choose to accept the call. So I'll create a message saying announce incoming call and I'll drag this event over here onto this one and you can see the payloads here 
Payload 1 is the friendly name, which is really all we need for this. So I'll use TTS speak. Payload 1 is calling you on Skype. And while I'm at it, let's see if we have a command for answering the phone. I'll call this uh, accept incoming call. And the action will be Skype answer. No parameters required. I'll save this and wait for an incoming call. James and Naomi is calling you on Skype. James and Naomi is calling you on Skype. Accept incoming call. There you have it. So I think that covers all of the essentials. If you have any questions, please contact us on the forum. I will also be posting this video to the forum along with some sample XML to get you started. Thanks for watching.